some airplanes back to Florida this afternoon, so I think we'll uh, abstain the sales. <laughs> Try to understand this space sickness kind of thing that some people have been getting and uh, having a physician up there, maybe he can uh, figure it out a little bit better. He's doing, most of the tests he's doing are on himself. I just hope he doesn't make himself sick. <laughs> yeah, right, who's going to think you're Go back here and remember, it really came into prominence in World War II. Mm -hmm. yeah. It'd be impossible to diagnose whether you really, <laughs> whether you really had it or not. That's one of those things that probably benefits from the the, 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 the spine actually unloads. One of the things I noticed up there is that because I kept tucking my toes under things and moving around is that my tummy muscles got a little bit sore after a couple of days just because I was using muscles that I wasn't uh, wasn't used to using. So I so Well now you do things supposedly, I mean down here to try and, and in some way uh, create the, but, but well, does it's very, it? It's very hard to see that the, the weight is on the move. Yeah. That's closest we can get is underwater. Yeah. Right. You can get close, and then we get 30, uh, 30 seconds of wrapping around the airplane. Mm -hmm. None of it really comes, comes close. <laughs> <laughs> when we see the film back here, what you see the moon, so you can see something. Uh, when you get back down to Earth, you just can't turn something loose that you can actually sit it down. That'd be awful. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> yes. uh, 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 and your friends. You know, the low back names thing was I used to be in Moss Hart, the playwright. And Moss was always one who, the bane of all doctors at any social gathering, if he was introduced to someone who was a doctor, he immediately <laughs> started talking about <laughs> symptoms. And, all. and uh, so it was a cocktail party in New York and introduced to a doctor, well, I'll say Jones, I don't remember the name now, but he. He was introduced to him and he started writing, Doctor, I've been having this pain. <laughs> then I introduced him and I said, Moss, Dr. Jones is a doctor of economics. <laughs> he said, oh, I'm sorry. See, I bought some stock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Seventy-seven people. <laughs> it goes all the way on up. It was.
well, we'll uh, have an opportunity to be the first ones to bring it back into the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, <laughs> depending on the weather there and the thunderstorms and so forth. <laughs> Take it back, of course. Ed, Ed and I, we, we appreciate that that's a historic landmark, but Ed and I have landed on that strip. <laughs> <laughs> it's about five miles long. <laughs> I have just had lunch with the crew of the space shuttle, and it was quite a lunch. Squeezed it from a plastic bag. <laughs> no, we really didn't. But I wanted to meet with Captain Crippen, Captain Hawk, Colonel Fabian, Dr. Ride, and Dr. Thagar to let them know how much we look forward to the flight of the seventh space shuttle. This mission is a mission of first. It is the first space flight of an American woman, Dr. Sally Ride, first shuttle landing at Kennedy Space Center, the first launch of a five-member crew. And I know come June 18th, about 7.32 a.m., you're also going to be first in the hearts of your countrymen. A little bit of every American will be up there with you, and needless to say, you'll carry our pride and our prayers as you head into space. This will be the second flight of the Challenger. As I said to the crew of the first flight, you genuinely are challengers. You're daring the future and the old ways of thinking, thinking that kept us from, what well, kept us looking at the heavens instead of traveling to them. And you and that white spacecraft you ply represent the hope of the future. Now, I don't want to delay the flight, so I won't give a full-fledged speech, but I did want to say publicly and personally how very honored America is to have public servants of your dedication, your courage and intelligence, and on behalf of all your fellow citizens, to wish you a very successful flight and to say Godspeed and God bless you for all that you're doing. Thank you, Thank you very much, President. Thank you. President, why don't you go along with us? Become the first president. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm a little hurt because several flights ago, I asked them if they would stop and pick me up on the way to Edwards Air Force Base, and they haven't done it. <laughs> what? I'd like to see it, but uh, I don't think there's going to be an opportunity to do that. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We really appreciate you. Well, thank you, sir.
Come back. 